Good morning and welcome to our Sunday celebration of Mass. Uh, second week of Trinity we're into and um, moving through the summer. That's why the weather's so wonderful. Eh? As we come together as God's children here on earth, we come together with accord in his name. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. And as we come together, we acknowledge that we've made mistakes and we're a sinful people and we're in need of God's grace and mercy in all the moments of our lives. So let's place those mistakes before the Lord and ask for his mercy. Almighty, Almighty God, God, our, our Heavenly Father, Father we, we have sinned, sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed. Through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault, we are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to the Father and to one another. You heal the wounds of sin and division. You intercede for us with the Father. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver us all from our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore for you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us, you take away the sin of the world. Receive our prayer, you are seated at the of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit in the glory of God, 
us pray. Before we say the prayer that the church gives us, I just invite you to place your one prayer, perhaps, for what you would like at this moment in time before the Lord our God. We humbly ask the Lord to listen to these thoughts and prayers. And we pray, faithful creator, whose mercy never fails, deepen our faithfulness to, your, to you and to your living word. We ask this for our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. I hear so many disparaging me. Terror from every side. Denounce him. Let us denounce him. All those who used to be my friends watch for my downfall. Perhaps he will be seduced into error. Then we will master him and take our revenge. But the Lord is at my side. A mighty hero. My opponents will stumble, mastered, confounded by their failure. Everlasting, unforgettable disgrace will be theirs. But you, Lord of hosts, you who prove with justice, who scrutinise the loins and heart, let me see the vengeance you will take on them, for I have committed my cause to you. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has delivered the soul of the needy from the hands of evil men. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, In your great love, answer me, O God. In your great love, answer me, O God. It is for you that I suffer taunts, that shame covers my face, that I have become a stranger to my brothers, an alien to my own mother's sons. I burn with zeal for your house, and taunts against you fall on me. In your great love, answer me, O God. This is my prayer to you, my prayer for your favour. In your great love, answer me, O God, with your help that never fails. Lord, answer, for your love is kind. In your compassion, turn towards me. In, In your, your great, great love, love, answer, answer me, me, O God. God. The poor, when they see it, will be glad and God-seeking hearts will revive. For the Lord listens to the needy and does not spurn his servants in their chains. Let the heavens and earth give him praise, the sea and all its living creatures. In, in your, your great, great love, love, answer me, O God. God. The second reading is taken from St Paul's letter to the Romans. Sin entered the world through one man, and through sin, death. And thus death has spread through the whole human race, because everyone has sinned. Sin existed in the world long before the law was given. There was no law, and so no one could be accused of sin, of breaking the law. Yet death reigned all over all, from Adam to Moses even though their sin, unlike that of Adam, was not a matter of breaking a law. Adam prefigured the one to come, but the gift itself considerably outweighs the fall. If it is certain that through one man's fall so many died, it is even more certain that divine grace coming through one man 
Jesus Christ, came to so many as an abundant free gift. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Man does not live on bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned the twelve and sent them out with the following instruction. A disciple is not above the teacher, nor a slave above the master. It is enough for the disciple to be like the teacher, and the slave like the master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebul, how much more will they malign those of his household? So have no fear of them, for nothing is covered up that will not be uncovered, and nothing secret that will not become known. What I say to you in the dark, tell in the light, and what you hear whispered, proclaim from the housetops. Do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet, not one of them will fall to the ground, unperceived by your father, and even the hairs on your head are all counted. So do not be afraid. You are of more worth than many sparrows. Everyone, therefore, who acknowledges me before others, I also will acknowledge before my Father in heaven. But whoever denies me before others, I also will deny before my Father in heaven. Do not think that I've come to bring peace to the earth. I've not come to bring peace but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and one's foes will be members of one's own household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up the cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Those who find their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will find it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Word of God proclaimed for our instruction today has a deceptive power, and if we're not alert we may find ourselves seduced by it. Jeremiah had found that such a fate happened to him. O oh Lord, you have enticed me, and I was enticed, he cried, when he found that God had attracted him to a ministry that would require rather more than he'd bargained for. But by that time, the prophet had reached his own personal point of no return. The die was cast, and the only way out was to work through the trial by fire demanded by his prophetic mission. It's well worth a read, the book of the prophet Isaiah. The prophet tells us of his absolute conviction that God would support him in his trials. He goes so far even to anticipate the chagrin of his enemies when they see that God is on his side and not on theirs. The same in the Gospel. There we see a message of consolation, of trust and of 
fearless joy, confidence exudes. Matthew's Jesus tells us that we are priceless in God's sight, cherished beyond the calculus of sparrows in the sky and hairs on the head. Jesus will promote our cause to the Father. These words are profoundly consoling. They can even be soporific, giving warrant to those who accuse us of using our religion as a security blanket. And they're seductive too. Beware, we may be sipping the brandy of the damned. Now the context of both readings is significant. For the challenge in both cases is this. To live and speak the truth about God and of his plans for the world in which we live, even in the face of opposition and rejection. And over against that challenge is the promise of a word of comfort, God's assurance that we will be protected, that he will not allow us to come to any harm, and that ultimately we are safe with him for eternity. It seems to me that these messengers of God's word today, Jeremiah and Matthew, they remind us that our membership of the body of Christ requires rather more than that we simply be card-carrying Christians. We need to acknowledge the truths that we believe. Our lives must reflect the values and faith we profess. And, brothers and sisters, anonymity is not an option. It isn't an easy thing to stand firm, and we all know when we haven't. And God's comfort, the promise of God's comfort, may seem a pretty empty thing when our friends have deserted us. But remember, the apostles who heard these words from Jesus were also lacklustre. And in the end, they deserted him and they denied their most firmly held beliefs. But God's promise sustained them, even in their weakness, even in their vulnerability. And the Spirit would come at Pentecost to make them fearless. Remember, their fiercelessness is the rock on which the church is built. And that same spirit comes to aid us in our weakness. Because we know, with St Paul, that our old self was crucified with Christ Jesus. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. That's a promise that's eternally enduring. So I invite you to join with me in proclaiming what we believe. We, we believe, believe in, in one God, God the, the Father, the Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all that is, seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, 
and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We bring our prayers before our Lord and God. We pray for those who are struggling around our world, especially those who are known to us, those who touch our hearts when we see the news or hear the news, or read the news. Whatever their struggles, whatever their needs, we place them now before our Lord and God. We ask you, Lord, to comfort and fulfil the needs of those who cry out to you today. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for world leaders, especially those who seem to have a hard heart at the moment and not be thinking of their people, the people that they're responsible for. We ask you, Lord, to soften their hearts and see, let them see the individuals and not the economic costs. Soften their hearts and minds, Lord. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all those who govern and minister to the people of this country. Those centrally, those more, more locally, and again, that they may see and recognise the needs of the people that they have got authority over and they may respond to those needs in a loving, compassionate way. Lord, in your mercy. Hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We bring before you, Lord, those who are sick, those who are housebound, remembering especially Margaret Bennett, Margaret Burridge, Jill Tinsley, Keith Tinsley, Tony Ring, Alison McCaffrey, Maurice Bolden, Marjorie Payne, Valerie Pickin, Mike Soares, Karen, Derek Hancock, Mary Young, John, Kev, Monica Luxton, Kieran, Anna, Patricia, Felice, Sarah, Helen, Derek, Kieran, Lawrence, Hannah, Dave, Jackie, Shirley, James, John and Tony and to anyone else who comes to mind at this moment we ask for the healing touch of our Lord to come upon them and his will to be done. Lord in your mercy hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all those who are desperately searching for answers at the moment Those who are struggling, those who find themselves in a place of unrest, that in some way the days and weeks to come they may find answers and they may find rest. They may find themselves communicating ever deeper with the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We place before the Lord those who have died, those whose anniversaries occur around this time. Remembering Molly, Wendy's husband, Sandra, Tom, Bob James, Ron Wright, Colin, Tom, Dennis, Vera Holly Holmes, John Weber, Grace and Maureen. And 
May they find rest in your hands, Lord. And may they one day be reunited with us all in your eternal home of heaven. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And we just have a moment in our own thoughts and prayers. Merciful Lord, accept, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And also with you. Peace be with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to, uh, to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. A fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. So let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Lord, may the bread and the cup we offer bring your church the unity and peace they signify. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. All things are of your making. All times and all seasons obey your law. But you chose to create us in your own image setting us over the whole world in all its wonders. You made us the stewards of creation to praise you day by day, and to your wisdom and power we give you that praise through Jesus Christ our Lord. We praise you, Lord, with all the angels and archangels in their unending song of joy. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord, and as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son, our Lord. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke it and gave it to them and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you and gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. 
This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence this sacrifice made once and for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and the cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. risen. Christ will, will come, come again. again. Lord, Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather, look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms and bring us with Mary, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint John our Patron, and all the saints, to the feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ, with Christ, and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from unnecessary worry and distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though, Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, 
Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to our world. By your body and blood, free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us safe in your teachings always, and never, never let us be parted from you. Behold the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all to new and everlasting life. The body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen.
bring our prayers together. Let us pray. Loving Father, we thank you for feeding us at the supper of your Son. Sustain us with your Spirit, that we may serve you here on earth until our joy is complete in heaven and we share in the eternal banquet with Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you all. And also with you. And may Almighty God bless and protect you all, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace and joy of our Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us. Hope you have a good day and a good week.